you can use the JMOL web interface at metallocycle.com slash UIJI to create, manipulate, and save three-dimensional molecular structures. The interface encodes the most widely used JMOL scripting commands in a straightforward user interface, and even allows you to create user interface elements for your own JMOL images. For new JMOL users interested in learning JMOL scripting commands, commands in the history and JMOL parameters are linked to the official JMOL scripting documentation. The goal is to quickly guide students and instructors of chemistry across the bridge from JMOL novice to power user. Before we get to the specifics of the interface itself, let's discuss some of the abstract ideas behind JMOL scripting in general. Scripting allows you to make changes to the appearance of the loaded JMOL model. Importantly, JMOL makes a distinction between selecting and manipulating models. Almost all manipulations in JMOL operate only on the currently selected set of atoms, so the user must select atoms before applying any changes, otherwise nothing will happen. Classically, selection is done using JMOL's SELECT command. For instance, in this PDB model, I could select all alanine residues by typing SELECT ALA in the JMOL console. The argument of select is a condition that JMOL uses to select atoms. In this case, it tells JMOL to select only atoms that are part of ALA residues. Future commands that alter the properties of atoms would apply only to the set I have currently selected. Before you can select atoms, you'll need to get a structure in the JMOL window in the first place. This can be done in one of three ways. By building a molecule using the Build Molecule panel, by loading a local file from the desktop, or by loading from the internet via a URL or PDB code. Note that if you want to publish your structure on the web, you'll need to use the last method or upload a file to the interface's archive of .jmol files. Local files will not work in structures published on the web. Let's load a PDB structure here and play around. The jmol interface takes advantage of jmol's mouse actions to simplify the selection process. Below the JMOL window, the four selection modes are listed on the left, and shortcuts for selecting all atoms or none are listed on the right. By default, clicking on atoms will select them. You'll see a yellow selection halo appear when an atom is selected. To select more atoms at a time, try some of the other selection modes. You can always switch modes to select only the atoms you need to work with. For more complex operations, Try clicking Tools Advanced Select to type Custom Select Conditions. Select conditions can be combined with logical operators too. The most common commands for styling and manipulating atoms in the JMOL window are organized into panels on the interface. Each panel contains related buttons, text fields, and other user interface elements. Explore the menu above the Panels area to discover the functionality of each panel. Once your JMOL is styled to your liking, you can save a local copy of it in the .jmol format, which preserves all styling and structural information. That .jmol file can be loaded with any implementation of JMOL 12 anywhere on the web. If you don't have a place to upload it elsewhere, you can use the JMOL interface's .jmol archive to save a copy on the web. Be sure to hang on to the URL that appears when you save. Finally, if you'd like to add your own interface elements that allow your audience to interact with the image, use the Active Applet panel. Only buttons are supported right now, but other interface elements, such as drop-down menus, are coming soon. Applets may be saved in the interface's file archive as well, and can be iframed anywhere on the web.